Number seven, get clear on your core values. Um, so it, it's really, you know, the one of the, again, a number, all these things are just going to help you um, narrow it down so that with all of your ideas, you can filter them through things. You can, you know, try to filter stuff out into the trash bucket. Try to filter things down into the lost and found dream box so you're not like spinning on them. And then um, one of the best filters is to get clear on your core values. So number seven, getting clear on your core values. When you're super clear on your core values, if something doesn't align with your core values, then you just let it out. If it's an interest or a hobby or a passion, if it doesn't align, then let it go. Then you can, it's easier to let it go. That pain of letting a vision go is less. So, um, I was just thinking about how I need to share more stories. Um, so I'll see if I can find some more stories. So for example, my core values, respect for all of life throughout all of time, you know, from the 4,000, I mean, the 4 billion years ago till now and respect my and our, our oneness with that, our interconnectivity with that. We are not separate from that. We weren't like planted on earth by some aliens, although contrary to some people's ideas, we are earth <laughs> we are earth life um so respect for all cultures all cultures and and for me a big part of that is is the nature cultures which have been so decimated and their wisdom has been so lost um and there's there's this cultural rift happening right now where um people are refinding monotheism as a you as a reason to hate as a reason to hate polytheists and nature-based religious and spiritual ideas and it just it just breaks my heart you know because the 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 religious structure that needs to come out now is is a blending of the beauty of the monotheistic traditions and the ancient nature loving traditions so so anyways there you go that's number 2 respect for all cultures and integration um, number 3 uh, for me is um, taking personal responsibility i don't believe in blame you know, we do have circumstances. We all start in different places. We all have different capacities. We all have different disadvantages. But take personal responsibility and make something out of your life, whatever, wherever you are. Don't look outside yourself for the stops. Look inside yourself for the doorways. The stops are going to be there, but you got to push through them in whatever way you can or go around them or go under them. So take personal responsibility minimize cognitive biases oh my god this drives me bananas um this is like my i think of the next series that i'm going to do is on cognitive biases and practices that we can um that we can take on to minimize cognitive biases um five a lifelong pursuit of education you know like just get i i i want i want everyone or I, I personally am on a mission to enhance this idea or to promote an idea that you know we Education never stops. You don't get a degree and stop. You just always, always, always get more educated. Um, and then also another one of my um, core values is this idea of blending um, service, uh, you know, being of benefit to others, uh, to life itself, um, to the um, systems that uh, create a better life for us as individuals and for the whole society. Um, while at the same time honoring our individual uniqueness. And even though I was just talking about being a little bit looser about your interests and your passions and your desires, um, it's a double-edged sword. You, you still need to be fully in tune with that before you can actually start to let go of some of the things that aren't really aligned. Um, so, so having a connection to the deepest part of yourself and honoring that that's unique and individual and at the same time being of service to the whole. So you get to have a great life, but you also have to be of service to the whole. Um, 
So those are my personal values, my core values, the, to the best of my ability in this moment in time, the way that I can articulate them. And now anytime I'm thinking about something that I'm going to do, is it aligned with that? If it's not aligned with that, then I'm not going to do it. You know, I mean, that's pretty broad. But still, you know, before I had that to find out, um, I would get pulled in all kinds of directions. Um, another thing I would say, this has just occurred to me now, is... Um, Try to live your highest purpose on a daily basis. You know, what, what is your highest purpose? Like, it doesn't even matter if you know what your highest purpose is. You can know what your highest purpose is today. You know, and my highest purpose today is make this video um, and go out and, you know, work on my rental unit and try to bring home some income. Those are, those are my highest purposes for the day. 